Hey everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. Today I'm looking at a new version of one of my most used sneakers. And I can bet that a lot of you out there has this model, the Air Max 90. I have a wide variety of different kind of Air Maxes from light to dark to crazy colors and everything in between. And today I'm looking at one of the most famous ones, the infrared. Yeah, so Nike released an essential version of its famous infrared colorway. So you already know what its review is gonna be about, so let's go. So let's start looking at the box. The box is all red and white, and on the front it reads, Air Max 90 Ultra Essential. I got in a size 11, and the color is white, cool gray, infrared black. So let's take it out. So here we got it, the new Air Max 90 Infrared Essential. Yeah, so for this review, I'll take a look at this one and compare it to the original colorway. Yes, yeah, so my first impression of this sneaker is that it actually looks like the original. However, there's a few exceptions and that's what we're gonna look at. So if we start looking at the shoe, we can see that it has a slight difference in color and materials. All right, so just to clarify, I'm gonna keep the essential on my right side and the original one on the left side, just to make it easier for you guys to tell which one is which one. So let's start looking at the toe box. So at the front of the toe box, the essential has hyperfuse technology in comparison to the traditional infrared that has gray nubuck. The new Essential Air Max has a white breathable mesh compared to the original that has a traditional mesh base. So if we move up, we have white laces on both of the shoes. There's Nubuck on the original and Hyperfuse on the Essential below the laces and towards the upper part of the shoe. The Essential has a breathable mesh tongue. So if we go up to the upper parts of the tongue, we can see that the labels are slightly different. The Essential has a black Nike and Air Max with an infrared swoosh in the middle compared to the original that has an infrared Nike and a swoosh with a black Air Max. So if we start looking at the side, we can see that it clearly looks the same as the original, but there's a few exceptions. The black plastic detail on the essential is not sewed on compared to the original. The plastic is also thinner, and Nike's trying to do this to make it lighter. So right below, we have hyperfuse technology in gray, and right below that, we have a darker gray swoosh. On the original, everything looks the same, but it's made out of Nubuck. So if we take a look at the infrared color, we can see that it's slightly different compared to the original version. Uh, this one is more saturated and vivid. So slightly below the swoosh, we have black leather on the original and hyperfuse on the essential. The color around the airbag and the Air Max logo is also slightly different from the original. The midsole is all white on both of the versions, however I feel there's a small difference between this one and the original. It's not the same kind of whiteness to it. The airbag has the exact same color. So if we take a look at the back, the first thing I notice is that the plastic is thinner, just like the rest of the plastic part in the shoe. If we take a look underneath, they use the same silhouette, but use different colors on various parts. The essential is all white except the front and back. The front part is an infrared color and the back is black. The infrared is black in the middle and has infrared color on the front and back part. On the essential version, they cut out some of the materials on the outsole to make it more lightweight. So if you take a look inside, we can see that both of the shoes has an infrared sock liner and black Nike logo. Yes, so that was the Air Max 90 Infrared Essential. Uh, what do you guys think about this sneaker? Leave a comment down below. I personally like the original version more than this one, but I think it's great as Nike's taking an original colorway and making it more lightweight for people that want a lighter shoe. Let's take a close-up look.
On the on feet section, I'll use the essential on my right foot and the original on the left one so you can see both of them. So let's take an on feet look. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this Air Max 90 Infrared Essential. Hit that subscribe button above and don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. The video on this side is going to be the Adidas EQT 2 thirds. And on this side is going to be the Yeezy Boost 750 Triple Black. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week.